When the presence of pathogens, which the body recognizes as a foreign particle, the first line of defense will start at the up, which includes skin. The skin contains the cell layer, which causes it to pickle for micro microorganisms to grow, and the skin produces sebum and sweat. Sebum contains oil and acid, while sweat contains lysosomes. These lysosomes break down the cell wall of the pathogens. If the pathogens manage to penetrate the first line of defense, we have the second line of defense to protect the body. <laughs> the second line of defense contains uh, phagocytosis. Neutrophils and monocytes are phagocytes uh, that evolve in the phagocytosis process. When infection occurs, monocytes and neutrophils move to infected area through the pores and capillary wall. Both phagocytes will engulf the pathogens and the lysosomes in the phagocytes will digest the pathogens. If the phagocytosis process isn't effective, the body will experience fever in order to increase the uh, phagocytosis activity. The damaged tissue will produce histamine, which will stimulate inflammatory response. Uh, when the second line of defense is also ineffective, the third line of defense starts to play its role. The third line of defense is an immune response of the lymphocytes. The lymph will produce lymphocytes. Lymphocytes will produce memory cells. Memory cell will produce antibodies and antibodies will fight against pathogens.